make the perfect song. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy MJ. Hey, girl, cook. And we are coming to y'all with another video. This video that we are making for y'all today is the questions and answer video. So we told y'all to go to Facebook and um, send us some questions about, you know, my post went viral last year about me being 21 pregnant with my fifth child. So now I'm 22 pregnant with my sixth child. And for some reason, my post is still going viral, getting questions, getting feedback. So I told y'all to call me questions on Facebook that y'all want us to answer. So I'm about to do that for you guys. Right? All right. So the first question was, do I feel like I had to grow up? Um, Basically, do I feel like I had to grow up fast? And the question is no. My parents still let me be. On the trailing team, Nancy, when I had my first child, nothing stopped anything. I still got to do basically what children got to do. Um, um, nothing got in the way of stopping my life either. As in like going to the club and stuff like I did that young, but I don't really do that now. But my life is still good. Like, yeah, don't nothing stop nothing. Kids don't stop nothing. So don't let people tell y'all that. Alright, so the next question is, how are y'all so happy together and I can't keep a woman for over a year? How many of you answer that? We are so happy together because first, we pick God first. And we try to live our life as the Bible tells us to live our life. Our life. Stuff that he don't want me to do, I want to do to him. Like, we think about each other's feelings first before we do anything. So anything I won't do, I don't, and I won't want him to do, I won't do it either. We think we communicate on a lot of things now, so that's the key to us being together and happy. We try to always make each other laugh, also. Um, and our kids always making us laugh too. We never have to do a moment. So, and um, we basically we believe in God. We don't believe in divorce. At all, unless one of us steps out of our marriage, we'll, be, we'll believe in divorce. So, ain't no getting divorced. Ain't no. Yeah, we're, we're not. Like, if we first, first argue or fight, we're not, we're not getting a, a divorce. It's gotta be like somebody cheated or something like that. Yeah, like if one of us cheat, then we get a divorce. But if one of us ain't cheating, we ain't getting no divorce. It's till they'll do us apart. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, do you want any more after this next baby? Um, I say I don't want any more. I said I was going to get my tooth tied. None of my kids were a mistake. All of them were. Basically, we knew what we were doing. Um, I don't want any more right now. I want to do my weight loss journey. Last time I lost about 60, 70 pounds after my last. It's like after every baby, I get fine. I get fine. That's why he take his hands off me when yeah, I have yeah, baby. Like, y'all, she want to she wanna lose weight after every child that she had. But every, every time she tried to, she I always... Did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you you did, but, like, you know, when... Okay. <laughs> I don't to say like I did. Oh, but, um, I ain't saying you done. Like, every time she tried to, she ended up getting pregnant again. And I want to actually keep this weight off this time, so... I plan on, um, trying my tools this time. Cause it's hard. <laughs> it's uh, hard. Sometimes, you know, sex can be really good sometimes. So, yeah, and then sometimes yeah, I'm like, I don't yeah. care about having another baby. Like, and I don't care really, but yeah. So next question: With you being the head of the household, how do you maintain from being stressed out and continue to work and provide for your family? I continue to not stress because my kids. They are young and they don't do much. All, all, like all they do is get their tablets and watch YouTube and watch like cartoons and stuff. And like 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 I said again, they like they they really don't do nothing that bad. My kids are my motivation. They keep me they keep me pushing. They give me the strength. I think about them while I'm at work, and that made me work even harder. That I may take care of them and get them whatever they are in need of. Next question. 
What advice? No. What advice can y'all give newlyweds? Advice to newlyweds is to pray together and communication. We had that problem when we first got married too with communication, cause yeah, like it was like you can't talk with an attitude all the time. You gotta learn how to talk like without yelling, without fussing, so y'all both can get y'all point of view across. And then you have to consider your mate's point of view as well. You just can't think about yourself. You have to think about your mate as well. So, so we was like that too when we first got married. Like, you always such and such. Like, you can't and, just, and, yeah. and another thing, like, we don't, like, with our phones and stuff, like, we don't have locks on yeah, our like, phones. Yeah, like, we don't have no passwords on our phone. Like, like some relationships, they have stuff like they hide, they hide from each other. Exactly. And A lot can be told in a person's phone. Yeah, like if they have a lock on their phone and stuff like that, like we don't, we don't do that. Like we just, we, like we open with everything in our relationship. Right, like we, we tell, tell each other everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. So advice to y'all just communicate. Pray, try praying together. Yeah, There's a lot of y'all that don't pray together. Like Communicate and like, like look to God and ask God. Right, like when y'all pray together, like just hold hands and ask God what y'all want to be improved like, in y'all marriage. Because when my husband made me mad, we pray together, I'd be like, like help my husband yeah. don't such and such and such and such. Like, like we prayed that. Ask, ask God to be the head of y'all relationship. Right. Who's the kid's favorite parent? Like, who's the kid's favorite parent? They love their mama, like, but they love me too, but they're like, they're like they don't have a favorite really. Like some, some, like, when, when, like say if they get a whipping or something, they'll run, they'll run to the person that ain't whooped them. Right. They'll run to the opposite person who ain't whooped them. Yeah. So they don't really have a favorite parent. Like they love us equally. So. Yeah. But. So my, my, but like. My, my, my baby right here. My mirror. She love her daddy. Whatever. She love mama too though. But. When um it's time to go to sleep or something like, let's say they yeah, dad ain't yeah, here, oh, they yeah. all just lay down. With like me. every time I go to sleep though, they would they um they by their mom. Yeah, they all lay down. They be one on by me though. Uh, they all be one by me, but most of the time they be like laying on her. All right, next question. <laughs> Someone tried to be funny. Say, how do I cook my spaghetti? I did not voodoo my husband. He just changed. God helped him change. And yeah, then. I fear God. Uh, and then. Yeah. We, she didn't do nothing to him. Yeah, I didn't do nothing to him. And then he saw how loyal I was, y'all. I was loyal. Yeah, when I, like, when I was. When I was. Just, like, when I was doing it wrong. And, like, when I, when I didn't care, like, I was just. I, I wasn't right, y'all. I wasn't always just good. Before we got married, though. Yeah, like, this, 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 this was before we got married. Before. So. All the day. Like, like Before we, he got saved and like everything. We, we were talking and stuff, but like, I, like she, she still was like wanted me and stuff and was there for me. But like I was doing all kind of other stuff. But I got my mind right. And then when he got sick, um, he had got sick before. Yeah, I had got sick. I had like acid reflux real bad, and I had got um. No, they had, they had diagnosed me with um, panic, panic attacks and like so, like that. So, like that. Anxiety attacks and panic attacks. So, I was deaf for him. And through all of that, like, I was going to the hospital like almost every almost week. Almost every week. Because I kept having anxiety attacks and stuff like that. And I, I seen that she was deaf for me and like, I was like, man, this girl really loved me. That, like, all the stuff I did to her, she still was deaf for me. Like, she didn't care about what I did. Like she cared, but oh, I cared. Like, yeah, she cared, but like I was like, she, she I'm crazy now. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, now. <laughs> but he changed. God him to change. And then like, if you really, if a man really loves you, he gonna change for you. Cause I told him like, yeah, like, I when him. I had my um after my first child, I was like, you me or no? It's rather me and only me or none of me. Yeah. Cause I'm not finna share no man. That's just not me. That's not how I was raised. I seen that she was loyal though, and that she was there for me like through everything that I went through. Like, mm -hmm. I went, I went through something, y'all, and she was there the whole time. One hundred.